it's Gloria Kremer from Oakville, Ontario. If this is the first time you're joining me, uh, this video is to go with my monthly online class kit. Um, and we're just going to put together this card here. And if you get my monthly kits, everything comes uh, pre-cut for you. Uh, there are no stamped images as per uh, Stampin' Up! policy. So, this is the kit. I've stamped my images on my kit just to save time for the video. Um, so, let's move this aside. And I will show you how I did my background. So when I did my background, I sort of looked at the, I sort of had the image of my, um, of what I'm going to be putting on top. I'm just going to put in this piece of paper because it's going to get a little messy. Um, so what I, I used for my background is, actually I don't think I used Old Olive, I think I used Pear Pizzazz. So let's use pear pizzazz and we also have rich razzleberry. So this is my blending brush and I use the same brush for both. So we're just going to swipe some color and you can't see there, there's actually color there but there is. So then I actually use the same brush for my pear pizzazz. And you can tell that the color is not going to run once, it, once you put on a white piece of paper and you don't see any color come off. At least that's how I do it. Some people I've seen use a different brush for every color. That's totally not necessary. So you can always just do it as lighter, as, as dark as you want. And you can also use whatever color you want. You don't have to use a rich razzleberry or pear pizzazz. That's just the colors I chose. Um, I'm just going to put it on top, see if I want to add more color. No, anyway, I think I like it kind of light. So I'm just going to keep it like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Tombow glue and we're just going to put glue along the edge. I like this glue much more than the fine tip glue. I just find the, I like the tackiness of this one more, but you can also use the fine tip glue. Pen. And then I'm just going to put a couple of daubs. And we're going to put this down. Put it on top. There we go. So if you're making this at home, you 
you can uh, pick any color to stamp your sentiment. Um, I think I'm going to do a... I was looking for happy birthday cards and I realized I didn't have uh, very many birthday... Um, let's see if we can find something here. How's this? Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. I like that. So this is actually from the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set, the sentiment. And I am going to stamp it in the rich razzleberry. It looks like I must have re-inked my pad recently. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some adhesive, some adhesive on the back of my sentiment piece. And then I have this linen thread that I'm just going to wrap around my hand and then oops let's get all the ends here wrap it around my hand and then I will pull it all together and I'm just gonna put it right there in the back that's what sticks it together and then I'm gonna add a couple of dimensionals And then we're going to add this. So I stamped this in the uh, old olive. And then we're going to add our little flower in there. We're just going to tuck it in behind. And then I don't know if my kit came with a little rhinestone, but right now I don't see it. So you would just add your little rhinestone on the end there. So there's our finished card. Thanks again for joining me. Happy, it is Friday. So happy Friday.